Hey guys, it's Amanda with Six for Progress. I just wanted to touch base and go over some things that happened this week. Um, the big one, so everybody hopefully knows, has checked out, shared, looked at our page, Six for Progress. That's where I'm broadcasting live from right now. Um, we now also have a website that is called sixforprogress.org. So we... Uh, on there, there are some really great features. We have a nominate a candidate section where you can go in and tell us a little bit about yourself, tell us a little bit about the candidate that you're nominating and what you want to do, uh, you know, what you think they would be good at and whether, you know, a little bit about them so we can contact them. Don't worry about it if, if you're not sure if they want to run or not. A lot of people don't run because they don't have support. So... We're going to try and contact them and get them to represent us because you think they would be a good voice for our community. Um, a few things that happened this week I'm pretty excited about. Uh, I ordered some recruiting materials and marketing materials for our organization and in the smallest sense of the word. So I got a name tag for myself for when I go to events and things like that um and then i also ordered for all of us business cards so these are i des i designed them so i'm pretty excited about them um i got them through vista print so on the front it has our logo and it has six for progress uh our phone number we have one of those now our website and then our informational email address so this is information for everyone um our phone number is 812-496-5424 and uh that's a google voice number it will forward to my phone and i will t be able to take that call um and there's a message on there saying that we'll get back with them in two business days you can call it and hang up or whatever and if you need me for anything, that's how you can get a hold of me. Um, our email address is info at sixthforprogress.org. That's on the front of our business card. And then on the back is, I think, the coolest part. So you're probably not going to be able to see that on the Facebook video. Um, but what we have here is a place for you to write in the county that you're currently in the county lead for that county whether if it's not you in case you're just a volunteer um you know we want to try and get these in as many people's hands as possible so and then it has a spot for you so if you're the one that referred somebody you can put your information there so we can make sure that we thank you and that we're keeping track of people that are really dedicated to the to the effort that we're putting forth so and then it does have over here it just has a little thing kind of about us and it says here in indiana's sixth congressional district we know that door-to-door -door, face to face discussions about the real issues are what will drive progressive success we are volunteers from every county who want to help get progressive candidates elected in 2018 and beyond and it says please join us at the bottom and then it has this really cute little picture of indiana with the sixth district specifically highlighted in yellow because it's a happy color so um that's pretty interesting i'm at the park with my kids and they're screaming uh so i'm pretty excited about that if you want some of these i ordered 500 um to get them a custom design get them printed um they're glossy on the front to help protect like in case it gets water droplets on it or something i just had a ladybug land on my nose um uh, and then the back is actually not coated. That way it's easy to write on. So no matter whether you have a pencil or a pen or anything, no matter what kind of pen you have, it, it will write on there. So, um, but be careful because the backs can get wet. So if you want some of these, uh, if you email me info at six for .org or Amanda at six for .org, either one, I will be happy to send you some of these. So, um, it costs about 28 ish dollars uh, for 500 to have uh, our own custom design. I designed these from scratch. So our own custom design. So no one else has a business card like this. Um, and it will hopefully put us out there in the community and help us
help us grow. So that's kind of the point. At this point, we know what we need to do. We kind of have a baseline plan. Right now, it's about getting the, the volunteers to do it. So hopefully this will help us do that. So just email me. I'll get your address from you. I will send them out to you. You don't have to pay for them. If you get them, you go through them really fast, you like them, I can email you the design and you can order your own from then. That way you, and, and that's, it was $28 and change for 500 shipped. So, um, and for the glossy plus full color uh, on both sides, that was, that was a really great price. So, um, Vistaprint did a good job. Uh, if you, um... If you can think of any other companies that are really good for, for cheap marketing materials, um, the next thing I'm getting for all the county leaders is some, they're 12 by 24 back window decals that will have um, our logo and then six for progress and then our website and stuff. Um, and so the county leads will get those for the back of their cars if they want them. Um, if I order all 19 at once, they come out to $15 a piece. And that's from Signorama, but I'm hoping to get another quote because that seemed kind of like a lot. Maybe we can find somebody that has a, a vinyl cutter, a cricket or something that would be able to do them for us. A volunteer, a Bernie person that would be willing to do 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 donate the effort if we provide some materials. Um, also, I would like to get small window clings for the back of people's windows like what he's there's a spider crawling on my phone. I would like to get, um, you know, if you have students that have, that are in sports or something and it has like a, a picture of a soccer ball and it says so-and-so and it has a school, I want to get something about that size, um, to give out, to have people put on their windows. So all of our volunteers that work with us, um, you can recognize each other and if you see each other out and about you can go hey I do that too and then we'll be able to contact each other and, and stay in communication um, let's see I hate saying um I didn't really have a whole lot else right now um, I have been hmm, I have been talking to several people uh, locally here in Dearborn County that are committed to making change in multiple parties so Right now, I have people from that are consider themselves independents. I have people that consider some, themselves very conservative Republicans. I have people that consider themselves Democrats, Greens, Progressives, uh, even a couple of Libertarians, I think, um, that are dedicated to these same goals that we are. They, they want to get the corruption out, and they want to educate voters and, and get a real democracy going in our, in our community. So... Hopefully, um, we can get, get that going. So the first step is already done. We have our website. We have a Facebook page. We have a way to be contacted. We have uh, a basic structure. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is look into incorporation and nonprofit status. There has to be a board of directors for that. And then there also, um, there's some other requirements. So, and that costs a little bit of money, uh, so if everybody, if people want to pitch in to help out with that, we can do that. If not, we don't have to. It's not a real big deal. If people are willing to kind of like maybe get a, a small package of business cards for themselves or, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking into Teespring about getting some t-shirts. Uh, the biggest thing we need to do is make sure that people know we're here and they come help us because whether we succeed or not is going to depend on whether or not we can recruit volunteers. So that's what these are about. These are about recruiting volunteers. These are about, these are about spreading the message. I mean, it's I'm not an incredibly religious person. You'll find this out about me. Um, but it's almost like religion. You have to, there's that spider. Um, you have it, it's like spreading a message you have to go out and you have to bring the message to the people and I've said it once and I'll say it again if for some crazy reason Hillary wins Indiana it will not be because of her volunteers it will be because burners like you guys like me like Christina mm -hmm. Kelly all of you it will be because we went out and we spread the progressive message we taught people what progressivism is we taught people 
how to think differently about politics and how to get outside of their party and get beyond wedge issues for the betterment of society instead of retainment of power. So, spider, I'm busy. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this works. So yeah, t-shirts hopefully will be next. I have to look into cost. There's this website called Teespring that's just pretty amazing. Um, you actually go on there, you design the spider. Oh, I hate doing that. Um, this spy, the, <laughs> the spider, the t-shirts for on Teespring, you go in, you design them and you set a price. So I would just set it to as cheap as I could make it. I, I'm not interested in making any money off of them. I just want to be able to spread, you know, spread the name, um, and the logo and, and get it recognizable. Um, so what you do is you go on, you design your shirts, and then you can set the price and then set how many you want to sell. So depending on what you design, once you sell a certain amount, they will print. So, But they won't print until you sell that many. So if I set it at like 15, if I don't have 15 people go online and actually order their own shirt then it won't get printed. So there's no waste, but then at the same time, we're still relying on, on recruitment and we're relying on people getting together and making sure that, you know, if you want to spread the message, you're, you're putting in a little time too. So I, I do this all day, every day. This is what I do every single day. Today, I went to the grocery store. I had groceries in the back of my car. I stopped at the Dearborn Adult Center to drop off uh, signs to people and flyers that had candidate and candidate bios on them that my chair was kind enough to furnish me and a flyer about the moving forward bus tour that is that's coming to town next week so I do it every day even if it's just a little bit and it doesn't necessarily mean it's for six for progress sometimes it's for, it is for the Democratic Party I'm really lucky my local Dems are really progressive and they let me just they let me just go and, and try. They know that I have everyone's best interest at heart and they support me. So I'm still a Dem. I'm still representing my county as a Democrat. And I hope that, that I'm able to use that to help everyone else get into a position in their county where they feel like their voice is being heard. Whether or not that is within the Democratic Party or the Green Party or an independent party or the Republican Party. I don't care what party you are. I care what kind of person you are. So if you're a good person and you hold yourself to a strong moral compass and you have a good amount of personal integrity, you know, that thing that keeps you from being bad when no one's looking at you, if you have that, please volunteer for this. Step up and be a part of this because without leaders like that, this goes nowhere at all. We need multiple people involved in multiple levels and I hope that, that you step up and, and you help me. So 19 county leaders across the 6th district will have eight section leaders, a north and a south team. I'm sitting uh, somewhere near there and it will work. It's I literally am almost copying the way Brand New Congress is doing this. I'm just doing it on a local level with with experience locally. I'm here. I worked this district for Bernie. I know what this district is like. And with that knowledge and with the connections I've made, the people I've met, the great people that have supported me and and built me up when I feel like I'm falling apart and the ones that I can do that for as well. You know, you guys know what it's like to be here, live here and campaign here, canvas here, volunteer here and be active here. And that's what we need. That's the only way this is going to work. We outsiders will never get anywhere here. No one seems to understand that, but you just won't not here. So hopefully a lot of you decide to volunteer. Remember, you can email me at 64progress.org, amanda at 64progress.org, info at 64progress.org. Um, our, e our phone number again is 812-496-5424. And if you want some of these, just email me with your address and I will get them out to you as soon as I can. So not a whole lot at first. Like I said, I only have 500, so I guess it depends on how many people email me. I'd be happy to send, you know, as many as I can to every county. Mm -hmm. to every 
single county, I'd be happy. Um, so let me know what you need. Let me know what you want to do. Let me know what's working in your area. Uh, we have the website that has a blog on it. I've put a couple of posts on there. I'd like to add some more. Um, if you have something going on in your county, if you're in touch in your county, you're paying attention to the meetings, you, you have notes or updates, send them to me. I would love to put them on a website. Write me a blog post. Email it to me at that email address. I would love to get information coming in at least on a weekly basis from every single county in the district. Ultimately on the website, I would like to have a page for every single county that each county leader can manage what goes on their page. I'm not trying to micromanage people. I'm your cheerleader, basically. So I want to put it on the website. I want to get every single person a county page that they can manage what's on there. If they want to do certain events and things like that, let me know. I will put it there. Absolutely. So I want to get people's input. I need contributors to the blog. I need volunteers for the events. And I need to get ready to go because my kids will be home from school soon. And I need to get back to my house. Luckily, I'm about 15 seconds away. So thank you for watching. Email me with questions. Send me your blog. Uh, send me you know, your letters. If you're writing a letter to the editor of your local paper, send it to me. I'll post it on our website too. I'll share it on our Facebook page. Also, we're up to a little over 55 likes on the Facebook page. And most of those came this week from you guys sharing things and telling people about things. Invite your friends. Go online and invite your friends. Actually click the invite button. Click their name and send them the invitation. If you know they feel like we do, invite them that's what we need. We need people that we trust that we know will work with us. So lead them here. Have a great day and be kind as always.